If you ever wanted to know what's better thrifted or new clothing then this is a series for you this is part two of thrifted versus new and this is a spring edition hello guys and welcome back to my channel first things first i just want to address the fact i'm recording this whole video on my iphone i know the quality of iphone is okay but the sound is usually a bit odd and so i'm sorry if you have to turn it up or turn it down in places i just cannot for the life of me locate my sd card and i only have one sd card which i know i should have multiple i don't and today i've scheduled to film and so we need to film we're gonna make do with what we have and moving swiftly on today's video we are back with another thrifted versus new new versus thrifted whatever way you want to put it and this one i'm really excited for because it's spring although it has been raining a few days here in liverpool so we haven't exactly had the most springy weather so yes we're doing a spring edition of this so think spring dresses skirts sunglasses if you haven't seen the first video of this series please do go and check it out a lot of you really enjoyed it and it'll just give you like an idea of what to expect in today's video so i will link that down below and yeah by watching that video you'll also get an idea of how this video works and with that in mind again i just want to encourage you guys to comment down below let me know your honest opinion which one do you prefer do you prefer the new version do you prefer the thrifted version as i've mentioned previously this series is all about just open communication and all of us just being you know be transparent it's okay to like the new thing it's okay to like the thrifted thing whatever it is it is fine fashion is about having fun so with that out of the way let's get into today's video and we're starting strong with spring dresses So the spring dresses that we have today are these two and they do vary a little bit in their style and their print of course but when it comes to selecting things in my wardrobe that were kind of the closest options these two definitely came forward because of their v-necks and the sleeve shapes as well and they kind of do have that polka dot style on both of them so this left one is new as you can see it's got the brand new tag on as well i've not even really worn it yet and this right one is thrifted and this is the dress i thrifted about five six years ago when i was in university i've had multiple times where i've thought about getting rid of it and for some reason it stayed put and you're about to see why that might be we can never go wrong with a dress especially in spring and summer finding that perfect kind of flowy dress is really essential you can wear it in so many different ways layer it over with a t-shirt or wear it on its own with some sandals a little cool cross body bag i just think dresses are so easy that's why i love them they make getting dressed super simple and quick and i keep thinking about like festivals because i'm going to glastonbury this year dresses at festivals are just so easy you just throw it on and you're literally done like you don't have to worry about denim shorts or like the different elements of your outfit so if you're going to a festival or if you're doing something like that is takes a lot of work out of you and it's going to be hot a summer dress is the perfect option for that so the first dress that we have, which is obviously our new one, is this one. And this is from a brand called Rio's. This dress was kindly gifted to me, so I'll be transparent with you. I am yet to wear it, and I don't know why. It doesn't mean that I don't love it, because I genuinely do, and that's why it stayed in my wardrobe. But I've just already had an occasion for it. Maybe now it's getting a bit warmer, I'll be able to kind of pull it out a bit more. But this dress is so pretty. It's it's this deep blue it's got white polka dots all over it my favorite part about it is the lace i think the lace on the sleeves and the v-neck is a really nice like vintage added detail and then it's got these um little ties so you can kind of tie it at the back and then it is more of like a maxi dress than a midi dress i would say but the style of it i think is really pretty i like how it's got this ruched um, detail just under the chest area the v-neck is quite deep but in like a nice way and i think because the lace is quite thick it covers and um, that extra little bit of cleavage even though it is quite deep this retailed around 30 pound i think and do i think it's worth it i honestly would say yes i'll be honest since i wasn't 100 sure about this brand but every single item that i have received from them i have worn so much like i cannot even express it these jeans are from there I, I got them and i was like oh i don't really know if i'll wear them i've worn them like every day of my life since i got them and so i definitely do think this is worth the price to be honest it feels super soft it's been made really well you can see the quality of it and like the shape of the bust i think that's a really telling like location these little cute sleeves as well they have the perfect amount of like puff 
in them and so for a summer dress i'm gonna say yes to this one i think it's gorgeous i think it has a lot to offer and yeah i think it's definitely up there one of my favorite new dresses okay moving over to the thrifted dress so this dress i believe i want to say this is from an oxfam but i really can't remember because i had it for that i've had it for that long straight off the back this dress gives the same type of feel as the other one of course it's got the v-neck it's got the gorgeous little sleeves these sleeves are definitely a little bit longer and the v-neck is definitely a little bit higher than the other one but it's also got these polka dots or kind of like circles going throughout it. They're more circles than polka dots. It's also got this lining kind of underneath the chest area. So similar style to the previous one. And then of course it's super flowy and goes like really long. This one's more of a midi dress than a maxi dress, I would say, but still kind of gives that flowing shape as the other one did as well. So the main thing that I love about this vintage and thrifted one is that it feels very thick and it has such a level of comfort that I've not experienced in many dresses. I don't know what it is about this material. It's super stretchy and super flowy and it just feels like it hooks your body whenever you put it on and so for me it's definitely a plus the second thing is that this is a very vintage inspired dress it's just giving off that vintage vibe the shape of it although the other one also has this it doesn't have this kind of thick middle band which i kind of prefer i love this because i because i think it's really flattering on the stomach it's also got these little cute buttons going down which are in the same print as the actual dress and so little details like that i can really appreciate when it comes to which one feels the best i would say this one just because the material is there's such a good level of like thickness but also like cool like you would be really cool and not too like wouldn't overheat in this so yeah whilst the new one has tried to get a vintage vibe i feel like this one is winning on the vintage vibe and that's because it's vintage and it's had a life before me and that's what's so beautiful about vintage clothing so it's time to make your decision let me know which one are you leaning more towards of course they are both similar but different in their own ways and that kind of makes the decision somewhat difficult but if you had to pick which one would it be? Would it be new or thrifted? Our second item in the series is going to be denim jackets. Now I feel like a denim jacket really comes into its own, especially as it gets a little bit warmer. It's a very spring appropriate jacket. They're really nice to throw on with your favourite pair of jeans and do like a little bit of a double denim moment. Also, of course, throwing over your favourite spring dresses. Just creates that really like lightweight, um, like springy, happy-go-lucky vibe. When I think of spring dressing, the first thing that comes to my mind is a flowy dress with a denim jacket and a little basket bag. I couldn't not do the spring edition without including some denim denim jacket starting off first with the new denim jacket this is originally from Topshop via ASOS and I wanted to put this one in because I feel like it's quite a modern take on the denim jacket it's like a little bit of a cropped jacket it's also got this white lining throughout the pockets and the arms and it kind of just elevates it a bit more to look a little bit more put together it doesn't look as raggedy it doesn't look rough around the edges it's definitely a bit more of a structured denim jacket in my opinion and so these definitely have their time and places. I find myself wearing this a lot in the spring and summer because it's really nice because it's cropped. And so when you throw it over your little spring dress, it's nice because it just, you know, you have the dress flowy at the bottom. It doesn't cover like your bum, so you can still see a lot of the dress. Also, I love buttoning this up. I don't know why. I just think it gives such like a tuxedo vibe, especially with the dark denim and the white lining. So yeah, when it comes to new denim jackets, I think you can definitely expect to find ones that are definitely a bit more structured. So yeah, this one has a lot to offer. It's definitely just a bit more formal, not as relaxed, but if you like that vibe, then this one is probably for you. Moving over to the thrifted jacket. So I've gone for this one because I wanted to keep in with the dark denim wash. Of course, this one does not have any of that white lining on it. It's a bit more ragged. It's definitely a bit more vintage. It's a bit more relaxed. This one I think has actually been cut, like somebody has cut it. It was not me. <laughs> I bought it like this, but you can kind of see it's got that kind of rough, just like someone's taken a pair of scissors and just gone like that. I think it works. I think on any other jacket it might not work, but because this is dark denim, somehow they pull it off. Something you do have to be careful about, there's like a pocket inside. There's a pocket inside and the amount of times that I've put something in this pocket and it has fell right out, 
is ridiculous so yeah definitely be careful of that but i actually quite like this one it gives more of a boxy shape and again it's just a little bit more rough around the edges it's super relaxed so it's a really nice one just to throw on of an evening if you're getting chilly or something like that this is actually an old levi's a very old levi's because you literally cannot even see the tag anymore but yeah your vintage denim jackets tend to be of course worn a little bit more rough around the edges and i feel like they tend to be a lot more boxy as well this one is cropped but i don't think it was intentionally cropped so you'll also find that a lot of them are about here but of course it's vintage you can root around you can find ones there'll be a handful of these on the market i would always say thrift your denim jacket before buying a new one because there are so many out there and it seems stupid to buy a new one especially when there's so many to choose from so as a one last reminder this is the two denim jackets next to each other and yeah let me know in the comments down below do you prefer the new one or do you prefer the more rough around the edges thrifted one next up is our third item of the video and this one is of course skirts so i will say this one was very difficult for me to do i was really excited to include this but when i was looking at my skirts i would say 80 percent of them are thrifted and a lot of them don't look the same so for example because i want to include this i was going to show you guys where is it oh yeah here i wanted to show you guys this one this is a gorgeous thrifted skirt it's so floral one of my favorite skirts that i've ever owned i mean this print is so unique and so i wanted to compare this one alongside a new skirt but none of my skirts my new ones have these flowers on or like any type of flowers so i haven't been able to do that because it wouldn't really be it wouldn't really add up i guess but yeah this thrifted one is incredible and i think for me it's pretty obvious that the thrifted skirts are going to win this round however we have managed to find two that kind of match in some type of way and so we've gone for these polka dot skirts they still differ in color they kind of offer different elements so let's start with the new one this one is from new look it's a gorgeous blue midi skirt and it's got these bright blue polka dots on and it's also got an elastic waist and i always look for an elastic waist on my skirt just because it's a lot comfier now other than that there's not a lot to say about this skirt let's be honest it is kind of silky it's got this silk feeling across it i will say that it almost feels a bit plasticky it doesn't feel um very nice to touch to be honest it also does not have any lining underneath for me i feel like whenever i get thrifted skirts they always have some type of lining which i do like because whenever you wear them it means that you kind of don't sweat as much so for that reason it's a bit disappointing but i do love the print of this i also love the shape of it it's really nice it goes kind of in at the top and then really flows out it's got a little bit of pleating in the bottom so next up is the thrifted skirt and i went for this black and white polka dot one this one is similar in many ways the polka dots are a lot smaller than they were on the other one and i feel like that's kind of a trend that you'll find in the vintage market a lot of the polka dots tend to be small this is like very small like you can hardly even see them but i kind of like that because it means that you couldn't really tell that it is polka dot from a distance this one also has like pleating running throughout it like these little la how do you describe this it's kind of just like a a tight pleating i don't know if you can really see it but if i show it up close maybe you'll get like more of a you kind of see that but yeah so a bit more detail has gone into this one also has an elastic waist and this one is actually more of a it's not a midi skirt how do i describe this it's like just below my knee it doesn't go anywhere near my ankles it's not a midi skirt i would say it's just right below my knee and so this is really comfortable it's a really nice relaxing skirt this one definitely offers a lot more ways to wear it with the black and white i think it's a bit more versatile and yeah i just think it definitely gives us that vintage um vibe because it is a little bit higher you could also maybe wear this as like a i'm just thinking now you can maybe wear it as like a dress or something but yeah the main thing for me is that it feels a lot nicer it feels richer it feels more luxury so let me know which one do you prefer do you prefer the bigger polka dot in this more silky shiny material or the vintage small polka dot in this cute little vintage lightweight black and white little skirt we've made it to the fourth and final item in this video and next up we are talking about 
spring jacket for me it's spring in the uk you still need a jacket the weather is simply not that warm but i think it's nice to have a jacket that is fun printed maybe floral or checked like these two for example a really nice spring jacket to kind of jazz up your outfit add that color back into your outfit you know if you're gonna have to, if you're gonna need to wear a jacket in the spring it might as well be bright and cheerful and just add that little bit of color that we're probably not getting from the weather at the moment and so the two i have today this one is from a brand called magpie vintage it retailed at about 200 pounds so it was quite pricey even though this was a new item it is one of a kind nobody else has this type of jacket they are all made from a different wool blanket even though it's new this brand is very sustainable so for that reason i love it the next jacket i recently thrifted in an oxfam for 9.99 and this was definitely one of my favorite thrift finds so far of 2024 Okay, so starting strong with this Magpie Vintage jacket. I always pull this jacket out at spring because it's the perfect balance between, you know, those days where it's really sunny, but it's cold at the same time, which by the way, are my favorite days ever. Like I just love that type of weather when it's so sunny, but then chilly at the same time. And this jacket comes into its own when the weather is like that because of this amazing print. I mean, you cannot tell me this is not one of the most incredible jackets you've ever seen. When I saw it online and I knew that it was one of a kind and that not everybody would have this, I was like, I need to own you. And now I do and I'm so happy. Obviously the main thing about this is these massive checked prints. So this is actually made out of wool blanket. Each blanket was different and unique. So this one, as you can see, was made out of this red and black blanket. And then of course this blue and kind of neon green neon yellow and so because this is wool it is obviously quite heavy and so you do get that like kind of heavy weight with it obviously this was somewhat very expensive and you can tell like hands down it's been made amazingly it's got these gorgeous tassels on here it's also got these pockets down here like the little front pockets which i love that style of jacket then inside the lining oh my god look at that like is that not just like the most floral colorful spring print you've ever seen like these yellows and orange flowers and the whole thing is just unique and different and that's why i like it and love it okay moving on to my thrifted jacket and so this one is a little bit similar but obviously different the main thing is they're both kind of like these big oversized jackets and they have these amazing prints on them so obviously we can love both the new and the old at the same time this one is very really difficult because if i had to pick i don't know if i could this one i recently thrifted from an oxfam shop it was 9.99 i saw this print and i saw this red lining and i was like oh my god that is absolutely gorgeous very similar to the other one in the sense that it has these pockets at the front it has um, these wide arms as well. Both of them kind of have these wide sleeves. It's also lined inside. This lining is obviously a bit more boring, just a plain black, but it is lined. And this one has like little silver clip buttons rather than the actual buttons themselves. But now I have to let you guys into a secret. Okay, so I recently discovered that this jacket was originally from Free People. This one has no brand on. And so I'm guessing, and I know this from a lovely subscriber who commented on one of my previous videos letting me know about this jacket i'm guessing this is kind of like x cut like stuff that free people didn't want and that's why it's ended up in the charity shop but on that note this jacket retailed at 188 pounds on the free people website which i think is slightly insane considering i paid 210 pound for this one now i'm not saying this one is is better than this one but i feel like the quality isn't really there when it comes to this one this just is insane and i think it's priced so well this is gorgeous and it is perfect for spring because it's that little bit more lightweight and the print kind of does all the talking you still get to have that like cool puffer jacket but not be overheating and so i feel like you get a bit more wear off this when it gets a bit warmer whereas the other one is obviously a little bit thicker so you'll probably only be able to wear it in april and may in the uk and so as we compare the new with the old the question is which one do you guys prefer is it the new one or is it the thrifted one let me know in the comments down below that was our spring edition of new versus thrifted it was definitely a lot harder than i thought it was gonna be i thought my wardrobe would have a lot 
lot more new stuff but actually everything is thrifted and so i found finding the new stuff a little bit more difficult but yes as a reminder this video is just for a little bit of fun take it very light-hearted do let me know in the comments down below whether you preferred the new or the thrifted items as i'd love to hear and i'd love to get the conversation going i love you guys so much thank you so much for the support as always don't forget you can check me out on tiktok as well and instagram but on that note i love you guys so much and i will see you in the next video bye